Welcome to this video. I just built a new Cairo ISO and it's already on Source Forge, right? So have a look. It's um, is there. It needs to be blue, of course. If you reload sometime in a few minutes' time, it will be scanned, right? And then you can download it. And the Cairo ISO is an XFCE Chat WM ISO with System D, and um, it's just a personal take on how. I see my operating system should be, which is actually to what, what you're looking at is chat WM. So it's a version of DWM and it's working flawlessly for years. And it has the possibility to have dual screen, three screens, four screens, right? Um, but two, two is more than enough for me. Then I get really um, 20 screens, basically, right? We have 10 to the left and 10 to the right. Now, the ISO is now online again. So we'll make a video. Uh, maybe we should just do the virtual box test already. While, um, so the version is the one of 1st December, uh, <laughs> October, of course, 1st October, and we launch it. It has already been installed. So I need to go to, go to the reboot, boot manager, CD-ROM, and this is new. So what happened? As what everything as, as is life, right? Change, right? So, if you are into building ISOs, then you know that it depends. But if you're using Arch ISO, you have to follow Arch ISO, the new update of that particular application. So, if we go and have a look what the reference today is, if we say pseudo pacman minus s Arch ISO, then we see that it's 86. So the jump from 85 to 86, yeah, we had to make some changes. And um, Cairo is a personal ISO, I mean, just for me, but of course you can decide to install it as well. And somebody connected me, of, of uh, sent a message to me on YouTube, Eric, we can't build it anymore. And then everything rolls out in the sense that I had to look, okay, what's changed, what's, what is different. And how we do that is by comparing. So maybe a little bit of workflow as well. So if I'm no longer there, right, you make copies of whatever comes in the user share Arch ISO. And here are all the references. So going from here to here, previous version, version of today, all you need to do is remember a tool that's called melt. And then you can compare what are the differences and the yellow things are all the same, but this is different, right? They changed a few things. And then you have to understand what's in there, what has changed. You have to read the code, understand the code, change the code. So basically that's what I've done with this version. And that's why it looks different. It is now a, cha um, a change in, in how we boot up and voila so i'll go into the details but let's get this thing just installed already so we can combine the video with how to install it and then what changed that's it right you got your own operating system in a few moments time a little bit more of uh, history so there is this uh, cairo dupes um place on the internet where you can find all the updates this is maintained right this is pushed each day we change a number that's it we change a number and this is what you get you get xfce get chat wm and that's it i don't need anything anymore wayland base for example um no i just keep to this and i'm i'm happy guy right i have a stable operating system just for me the um, changes maybe let's go into the changes can be viewed right you can view at the commits so here is a simple update the simple update is it used to be september the 30th and it's now october the first and voila and that's it that's the daily update i'll make each time i update my system i also update the github but here it starts so Arch, Arch, Arch ISO, let's say in, in the last week of every month, they look into the Arch ISO package, 
because the first of the month Arch Linux is built, right? They provide us with a new Arch Linux ISO. So it stands to reason that the first week of uh, the last week from the month, right? They look at their code again and change it. So this is the change, the version that um, we have now. And this is the normal update. So the date, nothing more. And it always says update because it's a script. It just do, does what it uh, is told to do. But here start the green things. Red is gone and green is new. Now you can do this here, which is um, okay, but it's not really interesting. So again, some kind of workflow thing. So this is a maintained uh, GitHub place. So if we go to our desktop and we git clone this thing, the easiest way for me is that we do a right mouse click here somewhere and I have two options, git ahead or git find. I still am using git ahead because I like it, right? Choices. So this is changed, that is changed, this is changed, that is changed. This is much quicker to have a look at what has changed. And here we find somewhere maybe, here we go, right? This is the stuff that really mattered. New entries for what UFI, things that I deleted, red is gone, right? Green is X is new, no mode set is new, things that I decided to change. So if you are following me, and I know a few of you are following this uh, GitHub in conjunction to Buildra, I'll show you later, because they want to build their own ISO, they have to keep track of all the changes, but you need to keep track of all changes in the future at some point in time i won't be there anymore but you need to compare the new arch iso that comes in and then um, make your own decisions because it's building an iso is basically all the time making decisions will i have plasma will i have cinnamon will i have xfc chat wm it's a choice right so follow up um the changes in arch iso follow my changes as long as you can with Cairo, right? This is the new installation already done, so I can restart. Well, we'll see later, it's restarting. But everything is here, so it's online. Lots of videos on YouTube about Cairo Linux. Uh, some time ago, there's a new name <laughs> from Amazon, so you get hits from that as well. Uh, nothing to do with me, of course. Amazon UAI ADE. Uh, sure, but Cairo is, is just a me ISO, right? Just an ISO, Eric, and learn from it with the tutorials that we've made. And from Cairo, which is maintained again, we made a copy, a copy paste, a kind of all in one big uh, video, three hours of video. And it only takes actually three hours to build this ISO to copy paste. Cairo do something and then you you just create a name right you just um, choose a name and I took Buildra and everything every, every reference to Cairo became Buildra it's not that easy but I mean there's more to it than change the name right but um, in three hours you got yourself a plasma right a different choice you get yourself a plasma and it's here github.com Buildra but this, as you see, has been created on June the 22nd, and that's it. It's dead, right? It won't be maintained. So it's um, a comparison if you want to, like one of the users um, that is uh, told me on YouTube, right, is using Builder. He will have to compare what did I do to Cairo ISO and what should I do to Builder ISO to change, to follow up what the new Arch, Arch, sorry, Arch ISO does. And it will be in the future the same, right? A new Arch, Arch ISO uh, packages will come up and it's up to you to figure out again, what do I need to do? So if you go to my channel, this may be interesting and, and go for build round, but, right? There are playlists. Here we are talking about build round. And as you see, it only takes two 
videos well three hours and one hour 16 i mean four hours is not nothing but it only takes the will um, the intelligence and a goal to have a new iso with your name on it that you choose with your desktop on it right choices you could choose cinnamon you could choose uh, mate i mean there is so many things to choose and you make your own iso so that's that for me let's um quickly have a look and end look right nothing really changed we can choose for wayland for chatwm or for xfce my default would be chatwm and then i log into the system and will have chatwm right this is just because we make such a small screen so if we restart everything super x r key bindings are important when you're on a tiling window manager super x r reboot and then you have um, a bigger screen right let's go to xfc now the wayland thing i leave it they'll they'll figure it out xfc so that it works out of the box and this is what you get yes arch Linux tweak tool is maintained made yesterday a new version of it so that's that right you it's just smaller and the choices are just the regular things that i like to maintain and like to follow and that's it the arch Linux logout is in here somewhere somewhere as well the better lock screen is in here as well so super x is this thing I like to keep it because it's interesting to just do these right there are more buttons but i got rid of them choices right i don't want to hibernate and i don't want to sleep and all that I just shut down all right so yes arclinix no actually not but sure arconet cairo right it's um working on all the configs we've developed last eight years but it's um cairo it's my personal vision of what i want to have and um, you can enjoy it too if you want it's just there on the internet it's just ready to install but the thing is of course it's ready to be built so you can change the iso by just downloading things this if you download this and then change the file which is probably gonna be this one what packages do you want on the iso on the system what is your operating system like you'd like to have more browsers or less browsers or an editor etc etc and then you build the iso with the script by running the script right build the iso that's what i did this morning now we have a new iso on sourceforge for you to enjoy. All right, cheers.